In this video, we're going to focus on how to create two axes here. Right now, we have one here, the left side, we have a y axis, and we have on the right side a y axis with a percentage symbol here. And basically, what we're going to do, as you can see here, the blue line here is directly matched on the right axis, while the left line, basically the, the red line, is matched on the left value here, which is this here is number nine, as you can see here, which goes down to this part here. Well, here the 40% here would be on this value here, then it's 36%, which is quite matching as well. So let's start to explore how to create this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a second y-axis in Chart.js. So to start with this, first of all, we're going to get the default code here in Chart.js3.com getting started. Just copy this chunk of code. Once you copy this, just paste it in here, and once you did that, cut this out, I'll just put it in there, for personal use, save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have a nice bar chart, and what I would like to do eventually is I want to have a line chart where one side the numbers and the other side the percentage symbol and some information on that, basically. So to do this, we need two lines, so we're going to create a line chart. What I will do here is I'm going to remove all the colors except for one single color here. That will be for one data set, a specific line, and then we have another one here. So then the next one would be another data set, and this data set will be the percentage data set. And we would like to put this eventually percentage, uh, sorry, percentage. And this will be on the right side, while well, this will be the left side. I'm going to give this some default numbers, so I say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus 60, and 70. And in here, just to make the color more visible, different numbers here. And for this here, I'll just say a tension. The tension should be 0 0.4, so we have a nice elastic chart. All right, so make sure you have all these commas here. All right, that's correct. Save this and then refresh. And there we are. I guess we are missing something here. So let me say refresh or open up the developer tab. Let's see what, what's going on here. We have a number 59. Tension 0 0.4. Uh, let's see why. All right, sorry, I noticed that uh, we have this here. That's not allowed. Don't do this one here. Remove these brackets, of course. Sorry, I didn't notice that. There we are. So now it works here. We have this here that looks all quite nice. We're going to convert it into a line chart. So it's nice, visible. We have two lines here. And what we want to do here at the side should get the percentage values, which is specifically matched to this line here. Well, this line will be matched on this data here. As you can see right now, they're matching together on one single line as this is the values of almost 80, 90, uh, 79, which is 80 here. So what we're going to do now is basically indicate that we want to pinpoint another y-axis. So if you go here on the line chart, we can go here, I'm going to use a specific command here uh, to scroll down a bit to find this specific item. This is the one we need the y-axis ID, and this is a string value. So basically this indicates if we have a specific y-axis with a specific value, the default is y, and then here for another one, I'm going to give this a specific term as well. Here we'll just say percentage, or we can make this small, percentage, all right. So we have this one now, and this will be now if you refresh here, you will see something is happening. It does see two different items here, as you can see, and but we want to move it to the other side. Because right now, this doesn't look appealing. So what we're going to do here is the following. Go in the lines here, in the scales, and in here, we need to work on adjusting certain items, which are specifically to these y-axis here, or the type of axis that we want to pinpoint. So we have this y-axis here, or the y-value, and the y, y value is basically the y-axis ID here. So we say begin at zero is true, all right. Then next what we could say here is uh, do here the type. 
linear comma uh, what we can do here more well this one will be the position will be left and the reason why it's linear because we don't want a uh, different calculation on here so if you go in here in the axis you have different type of Cartesian axis like the linear that's the one we need you have the other one here uh, I will skip the pronunciation of this one and then you have category etc etc but this one is probably suitable for our case so we have here the position so this position will be left is the left side I would say begin at zero that is fine display true that is already set on true that's correct so we don't need to put in here now once we have this we want to make sure that the other one is positioned at the right side so all we have to do here is first to pinpoint that and this is now the object name of percentage so it's a percentage here and then in here we can just basically grab everything except now we say here will be right this is at the right side and save that and then if I go back here and refresh we have now two lines here but perhaps you're not satisfied with these double lines because as you can see here 16 has a line here and number 70 has a line just below there so they have a different structure of calculating these lines so let's remove the lines and the only goal here is just to make sure that these numbers are shown we don't have to have double lines in here so we can remove for example the 70 lines here we maintain this one here and the lines from the right side we will be removing so to do this we need to pinpoint here the following you can put in here a comma and then we say in here we want to go to the grid and the grid is focused on the grid lines here and basically what we want to say here is the following we say draw on chart area indicating that for this y-axis we don't want to draw anything on the chart area and if you're wondering what is the chart area well that's this specific part here basically these lines covering the chart itself so not it's still within the canvas but also in the canvas just this part here only all right so we can say here the following we say this is false and if we save that and refresh you can see now these lines are gone while the lines and their ticks are not 100 percent matching with each other but it's more clear and a bit cleaner to see only one single line instead of two lines next what we would like to do here is just some cosmetic adjustment you can see here now that I have the y-axis here and this is percentage so how can we add percentage in here well basically for that we need the callback so where are we going to do to place the callback well these are what we call the ticks so basically in here with the linear and in the linear we're going to look for the ticks I scroll down here you can see here there's this item here or this namespace option scales then scale ID all right so in our case the scale ID is not X or Y but percentage and then in here we go to ticks so right now we went to the grid so we say here comma and then we say ticks and in the ticks we have to do the following we're going to use a callback function here so if I scroll down here we have to search for callback let's see if we are correct yes, this is the tick still let's search for callback all right there you are we get here the callback am i correct you can see here within the ticks we have the callback very important sometimes in chart yes we have callbacks with an s and sometimes we have them without the s make sure you check the documentation if it has or doesn't have an s so that's really documentation based so copy this callback and with this callback the thing what we will do with the callback is basically a function as you can see here and all we want to do with this callback is we want to create a function where we show not only the value but also put a percentage symbol at the very end but that's what we're going to do very straightforward so we say here callback which is a function and this function gets the default values which are value or basically these are parameters value index and values and all we want to know is basically the value here which are in this this is basically the array of the y index at the, at the right right side which is right now the percentage in uh what is that the uh, sorry the uh, the percentage 
y-axis. That's the right term to call it. So there was a mouthful for me. All right. So now, uh, put in return. Once you have return, we're going to use here a value which are uh, we are using here the um, the, the uh, template literals. So we can say here dollar sign, and then all we want to do is get the value of this one here, and then add up a percentage symbol. Very straightforward here, and you could do maybe a comma zero if that would be desirable. Doesn't matter. Or sorry, point zero that would be the right term. But percentage is fine. If we save this now, refresh, you can see now we have this here. We have these values here with percentages, and we have a nice percentage symbol. So this is the way how you can create a y-axis at the right side, which is a second y-axis, with a percentage symbol in here. So if you like these kind of videos, and maybe you're interested in something more, I would highly recommend you to check out this one here, which is the clickable bar chart with links in chart.js. With this, you go deeper in making the website, or, or sorry, your chart, uh, interactive with a link. So you can click on specific parts where you will be redirected to a specific page or another link on a site. And this is a quite useful one to create something more interactive on your charts.